Ah, fresh air. Feels good to be outside. Uh, weird smell in there. Death. Smelt like death. Uh, I was thinking mildew with all the water. Definitely death. Let's make an axe. Oh, what the hell? That's not fair. Shiva. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Huh. Here we go. Will there be water? Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with the bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back to where we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. Do it. Right. Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. To rot. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away? Be done with Shoreline? I was born into it. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. I 
Sov's still got this place covered. I think we've lost them. She who fights and drives away lives to fight another day. What do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. Roy Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. Their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But I'm guessing we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break at this point. Sassy. What the hell? Now that's what I'm talking about. Can't say I was expecting that. You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Welcome to downtown Halabadu. The last known resting place, the Tusk of Ganesh. Spectacular. Hmm. Hmm, what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. But that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I 
don't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Hullabadoo?